Welcome to part one of our Google Pixel series. The Pixel is, if you want the counter side of this argument, hit the link up above and go check out the flip side of the coin. The Pixel isn't. I'm just back from the Google Pixel event and there is a lot to talk about. We're gonna discuss who this phone is for and why you should want it. All the positives about the two Pixel phones. Let's jump right in first. One phone, two sizes. You're not getting decreased specs anymore. If you're an Android purist, you have to decide between a maybe more expensive 6P and a less expensive 5X. You can settle on an equally pretty expensive Pixel or Pixel XL. Mostly the same, save for screen resolution and battery size. These phones are for, quite obviously, the Android purists. The folks that have been following the Nexus line for years and want the latest updates from Google as Google pushes them out. That having to worry about running through carriers and getting updates in months or even years after Google pushes them out. Folks on the bleeding edge of Android, these phones are for you. Also for folks who want a really good camera in an Android device, especially an Android device with stock Android built in. Previously, if you wanted a great camera, you know, you're looking at the LGs and you're looking at the Samsung devices. Nexus devices were never known for incredible cameras, but Google spent a lot of time patting their chest about how good these 12.3 megapixel cameras are, and they're the same in both phones. Initial early test, the pictures did look really good. When we get it back in our labs, of course, we'll test it more, but the scores don't lie. It looks to be a really solid camera, and also no camera hump on there as well. These phones are also for folks that want really nice looking screens. Now the resolution on the Pixel is still 1920 by 1080. It jumps to WQHD 2560 by 1440 on the XL, but just looking at the screens, they look really beautiful. And that's not something that translates over the videos that we did or any other videos you might watch. The screens themselves looked really nice. The black looked really dark. The colors looked really bright and vibrant. They rivaled Samsung screens. You get that a lot with AMOLED. So really impressive how the screens looked. These phones are also for folks that want to be at the forefront of phone virtual reality because these are the very first daydream capable devices. So if you want to be in virtual reality, you want to pick up a daydream headset, the Pixel phones are really your only options. Also for these phones, if you need super fast quick charging, you get seven hours of battery life in 15 minutes is ridiculously impressive. These are also gonna be really fast phones with no bloat to get in your way. Four gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 820, these things should absolutely haul from a performance standpoint. So if you want phones that are gonna be quick, these are very good options. And of course, one of the biggest positives about the Pixel phones, one thing they spent many minutes talking about on stage, the Google Assistant, which is like Google Now jacked up on steroids talking back at you, is only gonna be available initially in the Pixel line of phones. The big question though, should you buy these phones if you have a 6P? The answer is probably not. If you have a 5X, maybe you wanna consider it. I recommend going to a Verizon store and checking these phones out to see if they are right for you. There's a lot of positives about the Pixel phones. Beautiful screen, stock Android, but there's a lot to not like about the phones as well. If you wanna hear that, hit the link up above and give it a watch. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.